Project MC Square. Lights, camera, action. Hello, I said lights. Totes better. Bryden Van West here with another episode of Bryden's Tech Beat. Helping me out in the lab today is Adrian Adams. Hola, chicas. So, Adrian, what's the first super cool thing that comes to mind when you hear the word light? Oh, oh, I know, light! Because when I hear the word light, I think of the speed of light and how totes fab it would be if Wi-Fi could travel at the speed of light. Then, I would only have to wait 299,792,458 meters per second for a fix to upload. That would be pretty brilliant. Right? <sighs> W-H-T-C-U-W-M-B. Okay. Well, we may not be able to use light to speed up technology, but we can use it to kick our picks up a notch using light painting. It's a technique that involves moving a light source while taking a long exposure photograph. There are tons of easy to use apps that you could download on your phone to take your pics from boring to hashtag amaze blogs. Let's do it. Arriba. Open the app in your phone and make sure the distance between you and the camera is 6.5 feet. Una, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, and a half. Next, get your light source ready. And for the final but most important step. Always follow the recipe. Make sure you're in a dark room. Eh, potato papitas. And for the best moment of them all, it's time to watch your tapes and super cool fix. Stand back, Adrian. This might get TCTH. Let's do this. Lights off. Lights on. <laughs> Let's take a look. I would never! Bryden's tech rule number 201. Tech and water do not mix. Hmm. What about silly faces in tech? Now you're talking. Thanks for watching another episode of Bryden's Tech Beat. And thanks to Adrian for being my awesome photographer today. No, I like it. Don't forget to try light painting at home and don't forget to click the button below to subscribe. See ya! Adios, amigos! Project MC Square.